This is the time so well we love, the time of all the year, when winter calls with chilling breath for fireside and good cheer, a time for man and beast to stand and feel the seasons turn, to watch the stars for secret signs and God's true love. I absolutely love this song. It's called Winter Grace. And don't we all need just a little bit of grace right now? We can feel the days getting shorter and shorter as the seasons are turning and we are moving ever closer to that solstice, the longest night of the year. There's a reason why solstice is so often used for a blue Christmas celebration, and it is because there is so much darkness on that day. But today, let's talk about fireside and good cheer. One of the important parts of the Christmas season is gathering with those that we love, sharing a mug of cocoa, Heavily flavored by peppermint, as you can see. <laughs> okay, I usually only put in one candy cane, not uh, uh, eight. <laughs> sugar shock. <laughs> A little bit of sugar shock, yes. But I encourage you today to reach out to someone that you can't spend the Christmas time with, that you normally would be, and maybe over the phone or over a video chat, share a mug of hot cocoa, or perhaps have some Christmas cookies together. Share some of that, that good cheeriness. And as you are doing that, you know, think of those who, who don't have access to, that, to a good friend who can share that, that relationship, that, that good cheer, that hot cocoa. And so after you've spent some time with this close friend whom you won't be able to see, Reach out to someone who you think could be in need of that good cheer. I did this video a little bit out of order, but that's okay. So now I'm going to read the scripture for today. It is from Philippians. And so as you're thinking about grace and good cheer and the bittersweet ability to spend time with friends, and the need to also spend time with those who may not have a connection, a close connection with someone else, someone who might be isolated, someone who might be shut in. If you can think of them, spend some time with them. Today's scripture lesson is Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. And it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. So as we feel the approach of winter, as we feel that closing in feeling, think of grace. And in that grace, think of, of spending time with another. And this year, it probably will be over the phone or by video chat. And that's okay. This is the lessons that we are learning this year is how to extend that welcome from just our houses into other spaces, even if we ourselves are still staying in one place. That is this year's winter grace. Shall we sing again? And when cold morning's radiant star shines over hill and plain, we know anew that little babe is born to us again. And man and 
and beast and bird and tree, each one in its own place. We bow our hearts and thank our God for winter rest and grace.